Welcome back to Florida summer, what I used to think of as summer and now I think of as the rainy season. Just ignore that thunder in the background and hope there's no lightning accompanying it. Let's see if we can move this to some place that we can see the whole canvas. The wind is coming up, which means it's not like 100 degrees and killing me, which is nice if my canvas <laughs> stays on the table. I made some plans. I don't know how they're going to work out and I suspect it'll rain before I'm done with them. Let's put that back here. Okay, so these are some weird plans, but that's okay. I am going to use the top half of my canvas to make treetops. And normally my MO is to spatula things into place. But since I get kind of nervous when it's thundering out, <laughs> I don't know how long I really want to be here and I may run away. <laughs> There's just always that possibility right now. Um, it's kind of funky. But my idea is I've done some, some swipes where I used a small cloth and I went around in circles. And so in my mind, it doesn't matter if they're not you know, making any particular sense. It's sort of like the grass when I do a garden theme. And there are several of them, if you haven't seen them. Um, actually, the last one I didn't post yet. So there are two of them. And I know there's some more green around here. Oh, there's that green. And there's this green. Okay, I like these other greens. That's kind of similar. This is kind of not. This usually has a little flow troll issue going on. I think we need some darker green in there. Or maybe some blue. Oh, don't be flow trolley. Come out. Okay. So, as much as I think I could go ahead right now. Oh, there's that horrible green that makes everything better. Over there. So let's put some of that Kelly green in there. Green and yellow are not my first choices for most things, but since someone mentioned that they thought the uh, the waterfall-esque or straight line swipe with a wavy top looked like a uh, looked like a tree line. Well, everybody else thought it looked like a waterfall. It kind of gave me that idea that I might want to um, to do some other stuff. Now it's going to be surreal no matter what I do, and what that means to me is the center is going to be a completely different entity. But I think purple's not a bad choice for. Um, what might show up under paint if we pull it. Gosh, that thunder is freaking me out. Okay, well, never mind. Yeah, that's some serious thunder going on right there right now. I'm going to throw some of this in there because I can. And I think I'm going to throw some gold in there. I'd like to throw a lot in there, but I don't know You'd think after all this time I'd really know what will happen when what goes with what, but maybe it's the heat, or maybe it's my brain, or maybe it's just so fascinating when you're playing with this stuff that um, if you're me, you don't remember everything you want to remember. I want... Ooh, that's very windy. Okay, well, <laughs> if it blows away, it blows away. I've never done that before, but I really like that color. And I need some colors I like to go with that green. I really do. Uh, what am I going to put in there now? Yeah, okay, well it doesn't have to make sense. No, stay, everyone stay. Stay, stay, stay. <clears throat> Please no microbursts. There goes the cat. Maybe I will throw some other colors in there. Just to make this go faster. Because <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Now this was supposed to be a swipe here, and it was supposed to start with black. So we're going to do that with, with the black. And I have a cloth around here somewhere. I did, anyway. For everything. Yeah, I do. There we go. Is that long enough? Wide enough? It's a wet cotton cloth, and it is wide enough, and we will use that. Uh, that's cloth number one. The next one is for the treetops, and that's number two. Maybe I want to put black down and white up. Anyway, so I wanted green for the bottom also, which it just occurs to me is kind of weird, but um, let's just do that because <laughs> I already started and <laughs> I'm a finisher. <laughs> what can I say? 
and I'm not too awful worried. Let's put some yellow in there. It's pretending to be grass. This is probably not how I would normally do this if I didn't have thunder threatening lightning in the background, but um, it is what it is. And it will be what it will be. I just did that, didn't I? Yeah, it's okay. Maybe I should have more. So, I'm tempted to use a white swipe at the bottom, a black swipe in between, but I only have so many rags handy right at this exact moment. And I can use my bamboo skewer, so I'm not too worried about that. I think I need something. What do I need? I want some lighter colored purple. I'm not sure that's really what that's described as. And I'd like some of my own color. I see you trees blowing. Yeah, okay. Well, I can't help it. I have to throw some orange in there. And now that I've put that in there, I want to lighten that up. So I'm going to do that too. Oh my god. <laughs> I am freaking out. There that goes. Okay, well, if nothing else blows away. That would be terrific. I'm just going to put a line, a swipe line, right down there right now. And it might be more paint than I need, and I might not know what to do with it. So I'm going to think about that right now. And I've got a piece of freezer paper over here to my right. And that is what I will use. And I'm going to do this while I still can. So, it's not raining yet. That's cool. Let's push that down a little. And then pull it up. And then because I can, I'm going to stick that right on that freezer paper. And I'm going to let some of that extra paint go away. And I'm going to take my other rag. No, I'm not. I'm going to take the other side of this rag, and I am going to, what am I going to do? I am going to use gold. I have just decided <laughs> that is what I'm going to do. Oh. And I want some purple in there for contrasting color. And what else? I want some turquoise in there because grass has all kinds of colors in it and that's what makes me love grass so much. So, <laughs> can you hear that thunder? Whoa, baby! That's big. Okay, we're going right off the edge. All right, I've got all kinds of colors, probably too much paint. I'm so sorry for those people who are concerned about the amount of paint I waste. I really spent a lot of time learning how not to waste paint very much. Now I need a small rag, a really small rag, like this perfectly small rag. And I will also, I also have a cotton t-shirt, white cotton t-shirt, and it is hemmed. So I am going to try and make that small, small enough to make circles with. And because I don't mind this color over here, I'm going to drag it right into that my trees. That's kind of fun. And I've got enough paint on that rag right now to touch up my other areas. I want to beat the rain. <laughs> and we've got enough over here so I can do the same thing. I'm going to use my fingers in those little vacant spots. I don't know if I like this or not, uh, but I usually change my mind after a while. I'm going to continue to use my rag until there's no more paint on it. I have wanted to, to for a while. I think I'll leave that so you can see it. Um, what was I going to say? I'm so distracted right now. Actually, these are beautiful, so I'm good. So let's see what happens when I make my tree line. Let's just do that, shall we? Pretty patterns. kind of hate to destroy them, but they're not actually going to be destroyed. They said it would pretty much remain. What was that? That needs to go away. 
I had a fly come by earlier. I don't know if you've been watching the fly saga, but it usually likes to irritate me by landing on my ankles. And uh, this one got his feet wet. <laughs> and he did not want to hang around. What a shame. Now, I have plenty of black paint if I so decide. I'll push that up there where you can see it. This is a weird one, huh? But I had to try it, you know? I'm just gonna make make my grass line. Actually, I'm gonna drag some of that right over the edge. And because grass is not straight, let's not make straight lines. And also bringing the black down into there will create shadows. I'm not sure I used the right colors in the middle, but um, I'm also not done yet. And I can, and you can, go back and add paint colors that you like the idea of, and you will not be under the duress of having thunder <laughs> and a timer set when your camera's going to turn off. So um, take your time, have some more fun than I am, <laughs> kind of freaking out. Um, not sure that blue was really what I wanted, but I like the way it pulls down. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Take some black paint from the black paint side. Let's just keep switching things up. If I want spirals in there anywhere, they're going to be in the trees. And it just started to rain. And I need to cover that edge. Oh. I kind of like that black in there. It wasn't on purpose, by the way, but that's okay. Because that's how we learn. Make mistakes. We learn what we like, we learn what we don't like. I'm not sure about that red, but that's okay. It's all just good play. As long as we don't get hit by lightning! <laughs> and I have quite a bit of paint on the bottom here, which is good because I need it to touch up the edges. Uh, I kind of got so distracted I didn't start thinking clearly about what I would want to do to change the colors of things if I needed to, and they kind of look a little like I could use a little change here and there. Or not, you know, maybe not. Trees for the forest. But I like the contrast when uh, when we get a different color in between. So I'm gonna drop a little in there, no matter what it is, and create that contrast. I think if I can keep it. Wow, that's like trying to trying to disappear on me real right quick. I'd like some balance. I really would. That red is bothering me. What am I gonna do with that red? I'm going to cover it with what? What am I going to cover it with? Let's use that and hope to distract the eye and not lose it entirely. Okay. I always wanted to try that. Might or might not be a good idea. shouldn't hurt all my paints if I leave them out here in their bottles with the caps on, right? <laughs> They're too heavy to blow away, so I'm not going to worry about that. I need something in there. I think I need the same something in there that I wanted anywhere else. So I'm going to add it right in. 
think the purple is going to help me be happy with my color scheme or happier with my color scheme. I don't want to make any straight lines up there. Like that. No sideways lines. I got quite a bit of color. I didn't mind the idea of having some of it go down into the grass. It was actually my intention, believe it or not. And I'm liking the contrast of the black being unearthed, making different patterns there. Now there's no silicone in any of this. And we have four minutes left and the thunder sounds like it's moving away a little bit. Yes! Ah! Gazap! And there she went. <laughs> I like that better than I liked it before. I kind of want one more go around here. Ooh, that was a big one. That was uh, like something came out of the top of that bottle. Yeah, look at that. I was not wrong. That's right in the middle. I don't really want any green in the middle. Although, it probably wouldn't hurt anything, honestly. That's what I wanted right there, and I'm doing it some more. Yep, that's my solution. Make my stylized trees just stand right out. Drag that stuff right around. I'm just having fun right now. Better than failure. <laughs> that. I like purple and green together anyway. You know, that's kind of fun. I really do not mind that. Um, makes me want to put some pearl in there, though. Maybe up here. It's a because I can moment. Peals of lightning in the distance. I just wanted to do that, just stick my finger in something. <laughs> I do it anyway, but nothing quite as important looking as that. Now, I had, it had occurred to me earlier that if I was going to use the Rain-X to make cells, which works pretty nicely, in the trees where the leaves are would be great. But I won't just get it there. It'll go everywhere. I don't care for that there. want to make any more mud than I can possibly avoid. But yeah, I like the idea of some light green pretend foliage in the top of these trees. It is an abstract painting, so it's not like there are really any rules. I can hear rain hitting the canopy. I don't know what possessed me to make one blue one right in the middle. I think that what, what, what that requires is probably another blue one <laughs> somewhere else. I think that is right. Just spread the love. I love that color shift turquoise anyway. Yeah, more. More still. That was lightning. Oh, shoot. And that's not what I usually say, either. Tender ears. Um, you know, I was going to say too much is too much, but it looks like too much is enough. <laughs> 